She watched a really interesting documentary about a girl in the 1970s who was in a plane crash in Brazil, I think it was, somewhere in South America. And the plane crashed and everyone died except for her. She woke up, still in the seat, next to her decapitated mother and dead bodies all around her. She got up, she foraged for food, she had some cuts and bruises, one of them got an infection. She laid down ready to die and got found by some local people which nursed her back to health. She ended up going back to Germany, she was a German girl. And they said, well, what happened afterwards? She goes, well, I went to Germany and my dad uh, obviously thought I was dead, but I wasn't, so uh, he told me to get a job and I got a job and uh, that's it, carried on with life. They ask her, well, didn't you, do didn't you go to therapy? She saw her decapitated mother next to her after a fucking plane crash. And her reply was, no, in those days we didn't do therapy. She just carried on with life. She can carry on with life and get on with things after seeing her decapitated mother. But you need therapy because people say mean words to you on the internet. You're a pussy. You're a little girl and you have fantasies. What's your first fantasy little girls have of getting married, of their marriage one day? No little girl's like, I can't wait. No disrespect because I like it a lot. Um, I can't wait to grow up and be a stripper and be single. Yes, let's let's go play dress up. Let's go play dress up and put on stripper clothes and, and, and dream about the day of being a stripper and being 80 guys and being single. No little girl says that. And I'm just, I'm saying for a lot of women. I, I don't believe that women want to be single. I'm sorry, because most of my clients have a ton of money and they're single and they ask me how to not be single. What percent of men actually get laid? The other, the other guys, guys face consequences for their decisions. Like that's the whole point is like, sure. like, like men, when they make a bad decision, they always have a consequence. Women don't. And that's why women are worse because one, one gender has consequences. One doesn't. And to say, and to, and to say, and to say it's like equal, I just think isn't like fair because like men, when they make a bad decision, they have the consequence immediately where women don't. We're bailed out of everything. How are we bailed out of everything? Okay, okay, okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. Every bad decision that you make, you're bailed out of. If you want to sleep around, there's birth control. If you get pregnant, you don't want to keep it, there's an abortion. If you get pregnant and you want to get married to the guy and leave and take half, you can do that. And you can do it under the guise of being happy. And, you know, and society will accept you in some simple, probably marry you after. And then, you <laughs> and then, and then on top of that, if you're, if, if you're bad with your money, what are you going to do? You're going to go to a women's shelter or the government will pay you. If you also, if you leave and you're a single mother and you're the fifth baby mama or whatever you can also go to the government they'll pay you so what do you suggest the women in the west do if everyone's advice is for men in the west to look elsewhere for a wife what happens to all the women in the west then well that one study we referenced was said by 2030 or something 50 percent of women will be without a man so that's that's the direction we're heading because the men that are looking for those traditional values are starting to go overseas and then two the other half of the men are just checking out completely they don't want to deal with women at all so this is going to be a big issue that women are going to deal with in the future as their options dwindle the main issue is I see a lot of girls who are career women that think their career is going to have any effect on their chance of locking down the sort of guy that they want, and it's just not. You know, there was one girl who makes $2 million a year. Like, she had, like, a clothing brand. Oh, partnership. so she had a... She makes real money. No, yeah, real money. Whenever we're together, like, she's always very, like, tries to push on her accomplishments, and I'm like, you realize, like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> no, I tell girls, I'm like, look, I don't... Nobody cares. I'm like, look, I don't give a shit. Yeah. And the sort of guy that would give a shit is not the sort of guy that you want. Right. Right, because... The sort of guy who would actually give a shit is the sort of guy who doesn't have financial abundance in his life. Right. And that's, girls don't want that. I've got a diamond chain on my neck. It's yeah. worth a lot of money, yeah? yeah? If I decide to go walk around in the middle of the night in some hood place and I get robbed, yeah? Yeah. yeah? Who is going to feel sorry for me if I had it swinging around my neck? End of the day, I know what I'm doing. So yeah. it puts myself in a scenario. Exactly. I should be able to go anywhere in the world yeah, and wear what you I should. want. You but can't. we don't, right? So if I've got a daughter and my sister, I'm going to teach them and say, babes, you should be able to wear what you want, do what you want and go where you want. But we live in a world where there's some evil people around. There's some demons, right? This is how you teach your kids. You don't teach them that everything in the world should be fine. Huh? Everything should be okay. You teach them the, the dangers and potential what can happen. What you guys do is, you guys say, you know what? Nothing matters in life. We go out there and when something bad happens, then you want to scream, woe is me. I'm saying, actually, Actually, look, look at it from a different perspective. We should be doing things. We should be mitigating such scenarios and things that can potentially happen. That's all I'm saying. Wednesday, November 6th. The city is underwater. The National Guard is coming. Martial law is in effect. But the criminal element never sleeps. Looting and lawlessness will be rampant, and the 
parts of the city no one can get to. I can already see. Things will get worse before they get better. And some will seize the chance to grab everything they can. We will rebuild, but not just our city. We must rebuild people's faith in our institutions, in our elected officials, in each other. Together, we will learn to believe in God from again. I'm starting to see.